We still don't know exactly what to expect from the iPhone 7, but one rumor that keeps coming up and seems pretty solid is that it's going to have a dual camera system, so instead of one camera on the back like we're used to, it's going to have two. Now there's a bunch of different ways that this could be used, and Apple actually owns a company that works with these dual camera systems to give you better quality photos. But there is one patent that was filed by Apple that gives this an interesting use. Now we don't know whether this patent is going to see the light of day, Apple owns a ton of them that we just never actually see in real life. But if this is one that's going to be coming, here's what it says. So the idea here is that one of the cameras on the back is going to be your standard camera, similar to what we have now. But the other one is going to have a much more zoomed in focal length, so in effect you're going to have optical zoom but without any moving parts. But what's interesting about this is that instead of just switching between the two cameras to get a zoomed in view and one that's not, something like what the LG G5 does, this will actually let you use both of those camera modules, the zoomed in one and the normal one, and it'll let you use them at the same time and to do different things. Apple gives a few different examples in the patents of when this might be useful and when you might use it, and if you want to read that, link will be down below in the description. But in words, it's a little bit confusing, so here's a little mock-up to show you how it would work. Alright, so say I'm in my backyard recording a video of my dog, nothing out of the ordinary, but what if my dog is far away and I want to get a closer view? Well with this, I'd be able to activate that second camera module and get a zoomed in view of what I'm recording. Because this is using the second camera module, the quality will be great, and I'll be able to do things like move around the frame and select exactly where I want to be zoomed in. Once you finish the recording and go back to watch it, the video files will be linked together so it'll look pretty similar to how it already did, and we'll edit it all together for you without you having to do anything. Now what's interesting about the patent is that it says this won't only work with normal video, it'll also work with slow motion and with photos. So the example they give is at a baseball game. If you're recording someone at bat, when they go to hit the ball, you can zoom in and record slow motion as they hit it, and once they do, you can go back to normal video and see the reaction on the field. So this is a really interesting way on how to use dual camera systems to give you different focal lengths, but how to use those together instead of just switching between them statically. Optical zoom is one of the only places that has received nearly zero growth in the mobile space, so using dual camera systems would allow you to have that same quality but still keep the phone small, and this Apple patent is a really interesting way of implementing that. Apple did acquire Lynx Imaging about a year ago, and they work with dual camera systems to give you better quality images, so we could see something like that implemented, but this patent shows us another interesting way that Apple's been thinking of using dual camera systems. So let us know down below in the comments what you think of this idea, and also let us know what you think of a dual camera system. What would you want one for? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to see more content like this. And if you want to see more on the latest Apple news, be sure to visit MacRumors.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching. My name is Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you in our next video.